Yo, what is up, everyone? Oh, ball's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacks. Now, today, we're continuing off here on official PvP. We are on the volcano here starting out because we're getting some polymer. This mantis is like an allied mantis, and it's driving me crazy. It's like on aggressive or something, and every time I bring mantis over here to collect the polymer from, he's trying to steal it. So, I'm, <laughs> I have to hope he stays over there and doesn't keep coming over by my pen. Regardless, what we're doing right away is making some fab snipers. So, we've got this ramshackle blueprint. We just brought some basic resources and stuff out here to get this going. We just need to get polymer. And, basically, we've gotten a couple decent ones out of it. It's only a 159 ramshackle. So, I mean, it's a good uh, damage for what you pay into it. Really cheap polymer cost. So, that that's really nice. Don't always go for, like, the best of the best because, you know, these ones will be ones we don't care about. We'll just go to a server just to mess around with these or something, and we'll keep our really, really good ones hidden away, you know. These will just be a nice cheap one to, to bring and do some damage with. So I'm going to grab a few more mantis just so that we have enough to craft a few more. Really? 140? Dang it. That's a problem with Ragnarok. It's always just so tempting. I want to tame that, but I'll have to do it later. Anyway, I'm going to grab a few more of these, and then we're going to get into some building. We'll renovate an area of our base that definitely needs a lot more defenses put into it. Alright, so here we go. Back at base. This is the path leading down to the most unorganized area that we have right now. And we're definitely going to have to put some time into it. Regardless, this is what we're going to be working on here. I'll organize all this just so it's not in the way. I don't like anything outline of sighting turrets. So this is the basic kind of structure, I guess, that we're working with. Somebody started it and did not finish it. I don't I don't know, actually. So we're going to continue on with what the... Why isn't this opening? Oh, I think it's just lagging. We're lagging. All right. Yep. All right. Whatever. Sorry. Can't really, can't really help that. This is actually a pretty... um built on area I would have to say so we're getting a little bit of structure lag at this point so this is what we're working with we've got um, I feel like we're like renovating an old house or something we've got holes in the floor and in the ceiling someone must have freaking gotten like a I don't know dino stuck what is happening I'm teleporting this is just a bad place I'm teleporting it's unorganized there's holes in the floor what is this all right my ping isn't even that bad. Well, I say that. It's 160, which is kind of pretty bad, but I've seen worse now. Anyway, let me park all these. I need to move these Rexes out of the inside as well. I need to f figure out a place for all this, and we'll be back when we've got a space to work with. All right, guys. I think we've done it, to be honest. Check it out. You can see the ground. Look at it. Look at the ground. So awesome. It's not like Therizinos and a bunch of other random stuff all over. I mean, moved all the, I don't know, there was like a mass of flying pteranodons that I took care of. Don't worry, we're all set. So, we've got all that out of the way. We've got everything parked, lined up well. So now we can, <laughs> we can work with this area a little bit better. Um, actually, I lost the one wyvern that I was using to hold my stuff. Is why I'm running around aimlessly. Okay, uh, one second. Let me find that. And we're finally going to get into some building, I think. All right, I found all the resources that I was crafting up, and we're good to go. Now I'm dehydrated. We just need some water first. Let me drink. And I'll show you where we're going to start around the outside. So around the outside, we want to have a sloped roof area or base, I guess you want to call it. And... We're going to start that on this side. I just hope that I can build on this. I hope somebody or whoever built this didn't, like, put the foundations as far as they could. No, it looks like I can build. Nice. Okay, so this is going to make life a lot easier being able to just build this right here. We might have to foundation lower some of the parts, I'm thinking. So let's put this here. We want to have our sloped roof. That is not the right way. Do I have the other angle? Yes, I do. There. And guys, I did not place those AC units. Don't make fun of me. I didn't place them. I know they're through the wall. I didn't do it. Take it up with someone else. Okay. Slopes. Now, this will make it very easy to place crop plots on them. And we'll have nice angled plant species X along the bottom. We're going to do this around the whole outside of the base. 
I don't know how this gate is going to interfere with it, though. We'll see when we get to it. I ran out of foundations. Actually crafting things up as I go, so I need to go make some more of those. Now, that's what I've got to put down for now. Um, hold up. Let me go craft up some more stuff, and we'll finish up that outside part. But first, let's do a little sum something with this. We need to start this roof at least. How do you get... What is this actually what they put it here for? I don't know. Oh, maybe I can just jump up here. Oh, that's way, way easier. Okay. Let's fill in this roof, huh? Oh, that wall is not the right way. Uh, that is bothersome. I think I'll just build all the ceilings off of one of the walls that is actually, like, good. But, I don't know. Let's get going on this. There we go. This is looking way better around here. We've got some sloped areas on this. I put this part right here. I put ramps on either side so you could obviously get the dinos in and out. But I put that so you could put plant species X if we want to. I couldn't extend out the foundations further right there because the gate was already here. If the gate wasn't here, I could just do it normal like the other part of the build. But I had to put it one out. Um, as for this, I wanted to do a double gate here. Get that there nice and then that should be more protected as well this definitely has to be a secure area we won't be moving anything into here until it's obviously really well fortified because you don't do babies and stuff in an unfortified area so um this pipe i'm wondering is this actually in use that actually goes up there okay i wasn't i wasn't sure if that actually was being used for something but i guess it it's fueling something with water anyway um, one part that we have to work on, I need to put a few more air conditionings over in here. I just wanted to make sure that we for sure have enough over here. And then we'll also, I think, section those off with just a wall in front of them. Because then we won't have dinos hatching into them, hopefully. And they'll still work from behind the wall as well. As you can see, I haven't filled in this horrible hole that we've got in the middle of our room. But, I mean, what are you going to do? 
All right, we'll put these here. I'm gonna wait on the next one. So I wanna put a wall going along this whole way. What is all these? Okay, never mind. We've got like a lot of foundations here. Someone has many foundations put into this part. It's not like double layered or anything, they're just there, I think. No, that's not where I wanted to put it, arc. Come on, all right. We'll get this, we'll get this. Come on, really? Oh, it's because, oh, I need to put the foundations down. Never mind, there's not a snap point there. That's my bad. All right, I need to put some foundations down there. Okay, let's get those. I think I have them, actually. We'll put these down. So this is going to be kind of like the, the breeding area. I guess the place where we start the eggs. It's not really useful to raise masses of them inside anyway we'll probably have them outside because otherwise they just take up way too much space like growing brontos parasers that kind of thing those just have to be bred outside it's just too crazy but probably important things what no all right that one foundation part is going to be really hard to blow up nobody's getting past that one All right, there we go. So we've got that. Now I should be able to put my wall the correct way on here, I hope. Yeah, that's right. That's that's exactly what I was looking for. All right, let's get rid of that. Come on, please. You show you showing me the right thing. That was not. It it's 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 showing the right thing. <laughs> Come on. All right, one day, I'm going to get this wall situated. We're just, okay. We're just going to put this one here. That one will go. Why won't this one? Okay, we've done it. Man, that was hard. That was difficult. Hardest part in arc. They even show you where the thing's supposed to place. If it just placed where it was supposed to, we'd never have this problem. Anyway, we're gonna put some ceilings onto this as well. I really hope that this prevents dinos from, like, hatching into anything, but I'd assume they're probably just gonna hatch into the wall or ceiling or floor or something else anyway. You know how Ark is, but at least we won't have to replace the AC units, right? So let me just get a door for that part. We should be all set here. I actually do have a door as well, don't I? Spoke too soon. Okay. Um, I'm also going to do a second layer inside on the part above the, like, AC units. So up there. We'll do, like, a second layer above, I think. As for this, we'll do one sloped roof. And, yeah, we just need a door for that. Okay, I'm going to craft up a few more things. I think we need a few more building materials before we keep going on this. Actually, let's open this, this AC unit. We can put this right. No, actually. Right there. Can I walk past this, actually? No, what have I done? Why did I do that? What? Why did I think I could walk past that? That was a horrible idea. All right. Okay, I've got that inside area all taken care of. Did a second layer going above the top so that we can park, I don't know, like good on stuff like that. I think we just need some storage space for some of our dinos, like smaller ones, and kilos and things like that. We're, we're running out of room up there. It's kind of crazy, but I'm going to try and line up these crop plots as well as possible. I just know you all get on my case if I don't. All right, so let me, let me concentrate here. Shh quiet oh that is perfect you can't. honestly I don't think anybody's placed a crop plot better than that probably ever to be honest all right number two boom all right now for the next 40 minutes of this video this is what we're gonna do I hope you guys enjoy this type of quality content crop plot placing I should probably just do a separate video just for this but just kidding we'll bear back
Okay, so I've gotten crop plots along the whole outside of this thing. The outside is pretty well situated. Now we just need turrets and bullets and all that. I removed the garbage that was on the inside of here, put up a couple hatch frames onto this part. We've got this part leading into where you would hatch the eggs. Can easily take them out. And obviously AC units here. Voila, nice and simple. Why is that why is that there? Did I put that there? Let me see if I can get that. <sighs> Felt like I was so close. Oh, I saw the option. One more try, that's it, that's it. And then I'm done. Okay, yeah, I failed. My bad. Alright, anyway. That part of the roof I didn't do. I know it's a little goofy, but that was a part that was there, I swear. We're just building on from there. And then we go into here. We've got a little bit of a that, the smithy and fab and stuff were here already. I don't know what those are for, but they're there. We've got this first layer, which we can store things on, and then up here, I will probably fill in, but I ran out of ceilings. As for now, we'll just store pteranodons or something until I do this around the whole, probably, probably do this around the whole entire top part. So, that's where we're going to stop for today. We're probably going to put more time into this in a later video, but this took a long time to just get all this going. You can only do so much in one day. So, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you liked the video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great Easter day, and of course, we'll catch you next time.